bought a new tent. I'll show you exactly what it is later on. How cool is this? Hey team, this is where it all began. The MacPack Microlite tent is like the first car you've ever owned. It might not have been the best, but you loved it and you've had lots of really cool memories of doing some really great trips in it. With its solid fabric inner and 9.6mm single pole, this one person, three plus season tent is stronger than many. However, the three plus season strength is achieved by a weight of 1.7 kgs, which to me is a bit on the heavier side, and that's why the next tent takes the lead. There's a lot to like about the Moondance one person tent. The three standout features to me though, are the industry leading waterproof floor, which is incredible, loads of internal space, and of course, it's bright orange colour, which I really, really love. It's great in three season conditions, however, when you want to go on winter trips, there's one tent that I turn to, and I call it the tank. Yep, when it comes to one person expedition ready tents, the Hilleberg Solo reigns supreme. With its amazing strong fabric, three 9mm DAC poles and geodesic shape gives you the confidence to pitch the tent in literally the worst four season conditions that you could ever come across and you'll know that you're safe and you can be very comfortable. Everyone needs a fun tent and this bad boy fits that bill perfectly. Being a four person tent, it's bigger and larger than what I need but you know what, I really love it. It's a base camp tent that gives you loads of floor and headspace so you can fill it up literally with as much gear as you can carry in. And what's more, you can spread out, especially if there's only two or three of you in the tent. Many of you have seen videos on the next tent I'm about to show you and it's really hard to say a bad word about my storm surviving $18, that's right, $18 Kmart tent. It punches well above its price and its weight I really am super impressed by it. Yes, it has its limitations, but as a fair weather tent in two to three seasons, near a hut or not too from your car, it is really, really good. I've heard a lot of really good things about nature hike tents in general, and when I saw this purple palace, man, I was sold. It's a three season tent that's worth checking out if you're after a good two person backpacking tent that strikes a really good balance between weight, space and strength. And if colour is important to you, need I say more. For four season trips, this really popular tunnel tent is great. I've comfortably camped on stormy ravaged saddles, or wouldn't say comfortable, but I, I survived, or on snowy lake fronts. Yes, at 3.1 kgs, it isn't light, but you'll be impressed by its strength, space, and the fact that you can put the inner and the outer up together as one. This is the newest addition to my range and I must admit that it was actually FOMO that caused me to buy it. When I heard that MacPack were possibly never going to make this baby again, I literally had to get my hands on one. It's a three person, four season, true geodesic dome that's at home on the highest peaks or even in an Antarctic storm. Yes, it's heavy, however, as a base camp tent, you can share the weight amongst three people which can really lighten the load. Okay, so I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, you haven't got a ultralight tent, you don't have a tarp, you don't have a bivy bag, you don't have this brand, you don't have that brand. There's a lot of gaps in your tent range, Barry. Well, all I'd say to that is one thing. Watch this space. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye. <laughs>